I feel like it, it, I don't want to say it was, it was hard because I adapted to my environment, honestly. Yeah. So it wasn't hard, but I feel like it's tricky. Yeah. You know it's very tricky. One thing can really, somebody can take it as, huh, I'm so happy to be here. First, I would like to thank God. I would like to thank my mom and dad, but don't you be a knee grump behind that camera. Now niggas want to say, it's too tricky. It's a little hard. <laughs> they catch certain expressions and they run with it. Jesus Christ, then stay home, nigga. Don't be on the football field if cameras are too tricky. Love your family, love your- So it's just, I feel like that's the hard part. The yeah. hard part is is knowing you don't have the control on editing these videos. And the camera's always rolling. Camera's always rolling. So they catch things. Now let's fast forward what he said. Someone can run with this and he don't have the power to edit. Not knowing who say what about your name. You can't control the content. It's hard. Sounds like you shouldn't be in this field called college football nor professional football because everything you brought up that could be said about anything any media platform with a camera that's every single university you don't think georgia state have their own team of promotional teams that is recording you guys in certain events I, I just worry about can you control it yeah i feel like that's the hard and the tricky part man just not knowing and not having the control to control your content your your the narrative you feel me? You feel that's why I like we don't sugarcoat here bro the views are either gonna come or not but my feelings are always gonna be here and i think when you honest and you come forward like that even the people who don't like oh, you, you don't they even keep see coming back on the video but they got that you feel what i'm saying yeah so i feel like that's the hard part is not knowing what you're gonna see today not knowing yeah. what you're gonna what's gonna be out not knowing what who's saying about what's your name i already don't care yeah. Cause I, I just worry about both. They but, don't. They come yeah. back over and over. Because I learned something in the world. Not just from the likes of a Charleston White or anybody else. When you try to do it the nice way. Like some of you content creators. You speak to people eloquently. You articulate your words. And you try to show them that you're this intelligent individual. I'm not like time you get out of work. Because it's refreshing in this fake world we live. This world where everybody want to act like some type of victim. Or some type of my, 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 my political views is trumping over yours like this weird. no you just want to click on a channel ain't no religion ain't nothing because when i speak spiritual So, YouTube family, you just seen Bishop Thomas speaking on his transfer situation. We know he transferred. He decided he's going to Georgia State. Oh, you know, he's going down to the Atlanta to go meet Savion Wickerson and all just that. Me. I mean, the, that was the all story. Thing. It was all raw. And so, I feel like it, it I don't want to say it was, it was hard. Because I adapted to my environment, honestly. Yeah. So, it wasn't hard, but I feel like it's tricky. Yeah. You know what I'm it's very tricky. One thing can really, somebody can take it and run with it. Facts. And you don't know how much reach can the next person get with the that comment, that facial expression they caught. It don't even matter. It's about what they put out. So yeah. it's just, I feel like that's the hard part. The yeah. hard part is is knowing you don't have the control on editing these videos. And the camera's always rolling. Camera's always rolling. So they catch things you don't really catch or you don't even see on the video. But they got that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like that's the hard part is not knowing what you're gonna see today, not knowing yeah. what you're gonna what's gonna be out, not knowing what who's saying about what's your name. I really don't care. Yeah, because I I just worry about Bob. But yeah, I feel like that's the hard and the tricky part, man. Just not knowing. So YouTube and, family, you just seen Bishop Thomas speaking on his transfer situation. We know he transferred. He decided he's going to Georgia State. Oh, you know he's going down to the Atlanta to go meet. Savion Wickerson and all that. I mean, the good, the good story. I'm not gonna flame Bishop Thomas. He was mature. He spoke. He even articulated him himself the right way. But here's 
something while y'all click on this video. You don't want that watered down sugar BS, bruh. You want to hear the real deal. Hey, Bishop, I know you probably watching this or someone who loved you was watching this, but we don't tap dance for nobody over here, bruh. I wish you the best. You going to a great university, Georgia State. It seems like Georgia State is trying to pick up every single one of Deion Sanders' leftovers. I ain't trying to call you a leftover, bro, but bro, when you decide to leave, if I'm a coach for the other team, I look at you as a leftover. It's the same thing for any player, even if they Deion Sanders' kids. You a leftover. You feel me? Much love to Georgia State. Atlanta community need good football players. Bishop is a good football player. We ain't going to cap on his name. But he did that, that interview y'all just seen. And let's break down some of the things he spoke about that irritated me. I thought we finally had a dude just ready to, if you want to leave, then leave. You want to go to this other journey, then go ahead. Don't speak about the ex-girlfriend, the ex-boyfriend. The grass is supposed to be greener even when it's not, right? So if the grass is greener, why is you speaking about past gardening greens that don't mean nothing to you? Know what I mean? Bars. Let's fast forward. You said that. You adapted to this environment with Dion, which is a weird word to use. Like, why do you got to adapt unless that pressure really do break and bust pipes? We'll get to breaking pipes. No ditty later on this video. Watch this. You said you adapted, but within the same breath, you said the cameras are a little bit tricky. Well, and, and we, I got he got more things he said, but I want to break that down. Why is the camera always tricky? When it's dealing with Dion or his son, Junior, a.k.a. Bucky, with his cameras, well-off media. But you guys never say it's tricky when it's with the CNN cameras, the, the ESPN cameras, watered-down ESPN cameras, Fox Sports cameras, CBS cameras, NBC cameras. We can keep going. You, you don't ever say these other cameras are tricky. But when it comes to prime time, it's this whole, it's like this whole expedition you had to go to a quest to antarctica or something with admiral bird bro like like we about to look at a phenomenon like like bro calm down gang if anything it was more strength to be who you truly are and at the end of the day just because they were melanated over there don't mean anything was gonna be given to you bro like like i work at popeyes it's my favorite chicken spot by the way and and just because I'm the head manager there or you coming for free fools, like you ain't got to stand in line like everybody else and pay over there. Let's fast forward what I mean. I find it tricky how you guys really have shade you want to throw at certain people over there. You're going to tell me Bishop didn't do nothing wrong. Go watch that video again. If he didn't do anything wrong, why bring up any of these things on the video? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not let Dion personally know you don't really like the cameras or the camera is that much stern for you and bishop was also speaking for other people that left not just himself so i stand 10 toes down on this video that i'm making i'm not disrespecting bishop like i did other people i don't have a catchy phrase of name for him no he's a man and i look at him as a man i just think he's passive aggressive i might even title it bishop thomas passive aggressive questions and answers bro it's just I, I, I know where i'm cut from bro i'm not no gangster i'm not none of this i'm just a man in front of you some of you guys who don't like what i said you probably can beat me up but does it erase what i said should i be afraid of saying what i truly feel because you dudes want to threaten and beat up everybody who tell you the cold hard facts bro this man is doing questions about a situation he claims the camera is a bit tricky. Meanwhile, said so gentleman, Bishop Thomas, trying to make his own platform as well. It's only tricky when we're dealing with Dion, when we're dealing with expectation that you have never met nor exceeded before, bro. Facts, truth hurts, bro. Scripture cuts like a sword. Every biblical proportion of that scripture, B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. This is a pamphlet on how to navigate throughout all four corners of the world. And I'm not losing my mind. I know what I said, all four corners of the world. You research that. I'm not going to get into that part. But let's fast forward. 
He also said someone can run with anything while recording you and, 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 and you can't have the power to edit it and the facial expression. Yeah, I make sure I listen to everything people are saying. So when I get on the video and do my rants, even if you niggas are mad at me, bro, I don't give a damn about all that. Spare me your feelings, bro. As long as I am breaking YouTube rules, I'm not breaking societal rules. I will use the Fifth Amendment or whatever the amendment it is. I'll speak with my freedom of speech so as long as I don't insult people in a way where it's unbecoming of myself but if you feel some type of way because of words and words get exchanged that's your situation and your problematic toxic and I, I don't even use the word toxic but you're the definition of that you want to shut somebody up because they're not sugarcoating things for you. Now, let's fast forward to what he said. Someone can run with this and he don't have the power to edit, not knowing who say what about your name. You can't control the content. It's hard. Sounds like you shouldn't be in this field called college football nor professional football because everything you brought up that could be said about anything any media platform with a camera that's every single university you don't think georgia state have their own team of promotional teams that is recording you guys in certain events or whatever can you control it so if georgia state which i've seen they have they team of promotional teams that is recording you guys in certain events or whatever can you control it so if georgia state which i've seen they have they copy the format of not just uh, um uh, colorado over there in boulder but i've seen all these universes i've even seen nebraska matt rule criticize dion guess who's using the camera now 90 percent of college universities have copied bucky Dion Jr., the one you guys throw shade at, but you can't knock out his door or when he's with his camera, just say, hey, Bucky, I don't want to be recorded. But you guys want to do all this extra. I've never seen grown men in my life becoming this tit for tat. Y'all going to tell me there's nothing wrong that Bishop did. Then why fucking talk about it? Why even explain anything with that camera? I've never heard people explain the X's and O's was hard. I've never heard them say the game of football was, you know, I had to go through strenuous regiments to get through X, Y, and Z. I had to, man, the, the, the college level was faster than high school. You never hear that brought up. It's some TMZ shade room antics, bruh. And even though Bishop Thomas was very respectful and salute to him, he was respectful. But that don't take away the things we can critique and speak upon because I was irritated by that. Why is the camera always mentioned when the man has an open door policy? Let him know. I guarantee you, if the team comes to Deion Sanders and Bucky and say we have issues with the camera, what coach wouldn't be beyond his own egos and his own prowls and his own uh, 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 um accolades or whatever and not acquiesce to his players every coach no matter what you think of them black white spanish no matter what professional fields lower levels of schools no matter what institutional level of football coaches actually do care for their players bro even the one that's tripping up i'll be the first to say not all of them but a lot of coaches i've met in my life they care for their players bro let that man know you're not strong enough to handle what the world of cameras we're living in today and he'll acquiesce and notice i I said you're not strong enough because i find it weird in 2024 these dudes who have their igs and instagram they document everything but the only thing they have a problem when it comes with that camera is when it's with well-off media or darius sanders in his production or the pregame show or all these other people like come on bro welcome to the real world some of you dudes want to play games and act like you're not ready. You're ready for the world. You just have issues with the likes of ones who look like you. I'm not afraid to say it. A lot of you content creators, I'm not going to say who I was watching today. No disrespect. I watch your content. But to see you placate, you know, thank God Bishop didn't say anything wrong because, you know, they're looking for anything to nitpick. Well, if you think they're looking for anything to nitpick, tell them dudes not to say nothing. It's called the real world. How the hell you're a content creator and you're like, they're looking for 
for anything to nitpick when you yourself is looking for anything to nitpick like you do with your platform. Nobody calls you out because it's their fault and you're entitled to it, but you're trying to play K using Sanders' name for the fame it brings your YouTube channel, but also being an attorney for the people who speak out against Prime and trying to be a PR man. Look, he didn't say anything wrong. Well, yes, he did, sir. He was coddling with his questions and he was being passive aggressive like a motherfucker. You feel me? Like we don't sugarcoat here, bro. The views are either gonna come or not, but my feelings are always gonna be here. And I think when you honest and you come forward like that, even the people who don't like me, they keep coming back. I openly tell the ones who don't like me in the comment sections I rebutted them, get the hell out of here. I'm not gonna force you out of here. I'm not gonna block you or delete you, but just leave. They don't, they come back over and over because I learned something in the world, not just from the likes of a Charleston White or anybody else. When you try to do it the nice way, like some of you content creators, you speak to people eloquently, you articulate your words and you try to show them that you're this intelligent individual. I'm not like the rest. It don't work. People don't want to hear some test questions and all. They want to see somebody who remind them of their brother, of their father, their cousins, homeboy. You just want to relate to somebody. Even if you can't stand their face, their voice, you're going to click every time you get out of work because it's refreshing in this fake world we live. This world where everybody want to act like some type of victim or some type of my, 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 my political views is trumping over yours. Like this weird. No, you just want to click on a channel. Ain't no religion. Ain't nothing. Because when I speak spiritual, I'll be the first one to tell you the hell with religion. There's no religion in the scripture. So even when I bring up the Bible, you can relate to me because I'm not holier than thou. Facts. Dude, don't judge me, blessed one. The scripture says the judge. Judge rightfully so. You feel me? Like, get out of here with, you quoted Tupac, only God can judge me. Ain't that some, some hypocrite type of behavior? You can quote what a rapper says, much love to Tupac, though, but the scripture that literally explains the judgment and all that, yes, you can if you judge him rightfully so from a rightful position. I can't judge you about being faithful to your wife and things like that because I fell short of that. I can't judge you on that. But when it comes to football and I let my ish hang out, you goddamn right I could judge you on rightfully so to this diagram that I'm used to, that I follow it and honor it, which is the game of football, which equates to the game of life. Like I say you every day, and like I see some of my true supporters in the comment section, it's bigger than football, it's deeper than football. That's it. Much love to you, Bishop Thomas and Savion Thomas. I mean, Bishop Thomas and Savion Wilkerson. I wish y'all the best. I you, you know if I had any hate for y'all, I would say it. Like, we talk about all these other players. We, we, we would say it over here. I just had an issue with that video you made. You should have did like the rest. Hey, man, salute to my new teammate from my old school, Savion. We're going to make great things at Georgia State. And Atlanta got so much beautiful women. Why is the hell you still thinking about your ex, Colorado Buffaloes? No, bro. You in the Chocolate City, not Washington, D.C., but the new Chocolate City of Atlanta. Beautiful women everywhere. And who? It's not a lot of dudes for them. So you are winning, my guy. Leave that alone and build your YouTube channel. Ain't that funny? Man building a YouTube channel, but so the camera are tricky because you can't be the one editing it. It's it's funny how they want to be the ones editing when it's a black person controlling the camera. But when it's them white folks from the Mayo Nation, you feel me? They show all that TV. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. First, I would like to thank God. I would like to thank my mom and dad. But don't you be a knee grumps behind that camera. Now niggas want to say it's too tricky. It's a little hard. <laughs> they catch certain expressions and they run with it. Jesus Christ. Then stay home, nigga. Don't be on the football field if cameras are too tricky. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed. Boy, the things these niggas say. Hey, man, we had another good video, another good banger, man. Shout out to every single one of you guys. Make sure you keep liking, sharing, and subscribing to the platform. Also, we got some great videos to be shown to you. Click on one of them. You won't be disappointed. I keep the energy because you guys know the value. That's why I always say love your family, love your kids. Right now, make sure you come back. There's going to be updates after the Blessings. Right now, I can use your baby.